Hello viewers. Today I show you how to replace a keyboard or how to repair a keyboard or how to change a keyboard Asus VivoBook X509 UA. So, let me start. Please watch the full video and increase your service procedure and how to replace it or repair it or service it first <coughs> move the all screw from the laptop bottom case i already do it and when you up the screw screw are set separate by separate because asus all laptop model screw size are not same every screw are different by different if you know which position which is true you will mistakenly another position to wrong screw added uh, then uh, square up from the keyboard <coughs> now square open done uh, use ejector and move it or open it softly I, I already do it in my hand just follow this and not try hard, super hardly try it hardly but not super hard smoothly now again use ejector it's plastic ejector or plastic blade I already use it and already open it open the button case after button can open always work for move or remove battery connector battery power connector i will do it and <coughs> now i remove it hdd hard disk drive cable and hard disk are move it from keyboard module up the screw from battery battery are 3 screw it's totally same size 3 square same size just move it in. then I remove the uh, double and cable now remove the EDB cable or VGA cable or um, ribbon or display cable. I already do it and close it. It's done. Now I close the screw from hinge there are three screw and three screw total six screw both side six screw are same size not different it's small and fair size screw but i separate it now move the lcd body from keyboard module i just remove it Now I uh, remove the keyboard connector and move the fan cable, thermal fan cable or cooling fan cable, name is same. Remove the thermal fan screw, screw size is same. and I remove the uh, audio board cable or USB board cable and move it and close the speaker jack connection or audio jack connection or connector I just remove it from USB drive from or IO board or sub board or audio board and 
remove the speaker set from keyboard module now I will remove the touchpad cable keyboard touchpad cable I remove it and <coughs> close the all screw main board close it and I just smoothly removed main board now I remove touchpad from keyboard have very small screw I just remove it just remove it now remove the touchpad module with cable from keyboard module now we're done just I replace the total keyboard module and all are setting in the new keyboard module same as same last time I removed touchpad from old keyboard module and new keyboard module first I added touchpad module just I smoothly add keyboard module and the new keyboard close the all screw it's for not same touchpad cable is screw uh, touchpad module is screw are same have only three screw and fit the touchpad cable now i am setting main board in new keyboard module add it smoothly and close the screw in the right position now use the again IO board or USB board or a sub board just fitting the right position and added the cable smoothly not firstly now I added the thermal fan or cooling fan or CPU fan all are same then previously says it and have three screw in thermal fan I already added it if you're new so no problem if you follow my full video and do it then you are done added the keyboard module cable try it smoothly so hard new, new keyboard cable so hard now done Add the touchpad module cable. Now done. Now added HDD drive in their position smoothly. Move and press it in my finger. 
now setting the speaker set both side from keyboard module connected the speaker output connection smoothly not super fast it's hard not super easy now resize the wire in their position You can follow it smoothly or you can do it smoothly. Now add it battery. Battery have three screw and have a big size cable, connector cable. Three square same size. Just add it the screw. Three screw. And connect the HDD cable. Just done. Now edit keyboard module from LCD module. Close the hinge cap and close the EDB cable in motherboard. Both sides are done. LAN cable is fitting in the right position now we're done i will close the hinge screw hardly not super hard but hardly one are done two are two are done Now this one is three. One side are done. Now again another side. One are done. Two are done. And three are done. again connected the audio cable now are done now now are added battery power con connection now are done now open the flip cover and on the laptop i mean press the power button and checking it all are done or not system power is okay now wait for display want to check display have or not I mean 
display is come now press up the power button and turn off the laptop and close the bottom case and press it and close it hardly now we're done close the all screw step by step one and done two are done three are done have only seven screw four five now are six seven have only three eight nine and last one open the flip cover and need to old keyboard and open the asus sticker just smoothly and added the new keyboard now we are done to replace keyboard module now laptop are ok sticker is open and close the new keyboard module and forget the old keyboard module and open the laptop press the power button press F2 and go to BIOS all is done thanks for watch the video